best way to market the site? What are the different options? Is email marketing, does that still work? Are we moving more towards a text marketing service? Don't know what to say. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's, but I think that's the problem, none of us really know where to start, because yeah, yeah. there's just so much you could do. So. Um, the majority of my experience is with SEO and, and pay-per-click. Um, my experience with email marketing is that it's really a numbers game. You need a massive amount of data, uh, you need a really good offer, it needs to be a, a fantastic offer in fact, because like we said in the last session, people are getting bombarded with emails, um, things are going to spam filters now, they get so much every day. I think email is probably the tough one to crack. And in terms of this um, fashion website, should the email be product based, editorial based? I think um, well, a recent example is um, <coughs> Solster newsletter. And they're, it's actually a really long email newsletter, but what they do, they combine both elements. There's quite a lot of editorial in there, there's, there's lots of fashion tips and uh, trending, trending topics, that kind of thing. But, as well as as well as providing a lot of actual direct links into products and into product categories, so they've gone for they, they've not tried getting everything into just like so you hardly have to scroll. It's something that you have to scroll probably five times over to see all the content. But they've gone with a mixture of editorial content as well as direct product promotions. And I, I think as we touched on in the first session, they also are heavily linked with a free delivery option. And I, I think they've also been doing a, a recent offer of uh, free returns as well, which is something for the fashion industry. Especially if you're not too sure what size to be um, uh, to, to, to order for a particular product and ordering two sizes of the same product, then having free returns on the product that doesn't fit you is something that, um, that a lot of consumers are looking for. So, that's also certainly still using email as, as quite a major channel for them, but they're trying to do quite a few things in one newsletter. I think it depends what strategy you're going for as well. Um, if obviously you could be going purely for sales, so I think if you were to be pushing products in your email, then Whereas if it's more a case of brand awareness and offering new services, that can be good because you're not obviously pushing the product on someone. Um, and I think the frequency in which you send emails is quite important because if you're sending somebody an email every couple of weeks, it's going to get quite annoying. Whereas once a month, maybe once every six weeks, it's kind of keeps you up from the mind. I think I've, 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 I've many people got affiliate schemes. Yeah. And affiliate schemes for their websites. Yeah. Everyone know what an affiliate scheme is? Affiliate program. Um, <coughs> when I'm starting. Um, I'll answer what it is. Um, basically, how do I describe it? So, as a company, you can pay other websites online or anyone online a commission of every single sale for the link that they um, link to your website. So, say for example, um, you were account myvouchercodes.com, which is probably the biggest affiliate in the country. Every time you click through uh, and use a voucher code on their site, they are getting a commission of the retailer for that customer. And generally it will range from say 2% to 10%, um, depending on the, the item and the value of the item. Whereas at the moment, affiliate marketing is absolutely going through the roof. Um, so if you haven't got an affiliate scheme, you should have one um, to start. Because as we touched on earlier, um, all the magazines, all the television um, stations know that they have to start monitorizing their traffic. Um, and one way of doing that is to send their users to websites to buy products and they get a commission. Um, so um, I remember last year all I ever heard was um, discount codes of ASOS on radio stations and everywhere and actually rather than just have a link online it was a promotional discount code that they knew every time that that was used on ASOS they got say 10% of that sale so they, they were bombarding people with um, discount codes and really that is a way that you can send huge huge amounts of traffic to your site without actually doing anything. Um, and to, that would probably be the first thing I would implement to anyone and just analyse what people are doing because until now you if now I've explained what an affiliate company is, you'll probably start looking around Google and you'll click on sites and you'll then go and click on say a product or something or a link and it'll go off to another site and then you actually realise that they're getting paid commission for that sale. Uh, and the key is key to it is as well, they'll drop a cookie on the site so it will be their customer set for say 90 days or 120 days. So if that customer goes back, they get paid um, a percentage of the sale again. 